my journey then continued to the pearl of the Indian Ocean and the country of my birth, Sri Lanka. My visit included a meeting and a tour of the Parliament of Sri Lanka with the Speaker Mahinda Yapa Abewadana, a lunch with the Sri Lanka Australia Parliamentary Friendship Group, and a meeting with the Assistant Minister for Foreign Affairs, Tharaka Balasuriya. Besides these engagements, and the most treasured part of my time there was the opportunity to address the students of Holy Family Convent Bambalapitiya, my old school. The opportunity to meet and interact with the youth of Sri Lanka who are filled with ambition, drive and an inspiring vision for their future was a heartwarming experience. They are the flag bearers of the nation's development and a testimony to its vibrant potential. Never for hot. Thank, yeah. thank you, Deputy Speaker. Meryl J. Fernando was many things, a visionary team maker who made single origin Ceylon tea a household name in the world, a committed environmentalist and philanthropist, and an iconic personality whose catchphrase, do try it, became a popular sensation in Australia. This extraordinary person breathed his last at the age of 93, less than a fortnight ago in Colombo, having dedicated most of his life to tea, an essential beverage in every corner of the world. When Merrill retired, the tea industry was vastly different from when he began his career. He was among the first Sri Lankans to be trained as a tea taster, a profession closely guarded by the previous colonial administration. While in London, he noticed the industry was exploitative with Sri Lankan producers receiving a tiny fraction of the profits, whilst middlemen, mainly the handful of large corporations, benefiting excessively. After 30 years in the business, Dilma, the first producer-owned producer tea brand, was founded, and the rest is history. He also ensured minimum of 15% of Dilma's profits went to charitable and environmental causes. I extend my condolences to his family and to the employees of Dilma. 